Hey there, this is Todd at Biz Ladder. This video is gonna talk about reoccurring invoices inside the Wix system. If you have already used Wix invoicing, regular Wix invoices, this is gonna be really easy for you. If you haven't used any of it, it's still gonna be relatively straightforward and it could be a game changer for your business, uh, a way for your clients and customers to automatically pay you every week, every month, every year, whatever the time frame is, and a way to eliminate a lot of your bookkeeping headache and invoicing headache that you might have. So let's hop right in. We're inside the dashboard. This is a test website, an old website of mine that we just used to test out. You're gonna go over to finance, reoccurring invoices. Now, the first time you click this, you're gonna get have a get started screen here. You basically just click that button and then it comes here. You're also gonna notice this message up top. Uh, this is an old website, a, a deprecated website, so we don't have any payment method connected. And even if it was connected, it has to be a payment method that allows you to, that enables reoccurring payments. There's a little bit more technology and security behind reoccurring automated payments. Some payment methods don't accept that. They just don't deal with that. Wix payments will, Stripe will, I believe. I'm pretty sure PayPal will as well. This is gonna be the uh, country specific and certainly payment method specific. So. If you see this message and you say, oh, let me create a new recording invoice, you can't. You're going to get now a red bar and you can't click next until you actually set it up. So let's hop over to my live site here. I'm already inside the recurring invoice screen here. I've got it set to draft just to protect client info and any other invoices that are already in there. But it's the same screen as, as you are. You normally would be here where it says recurring invoices. You click new. So we're gonna go over here, we're gonna click new. All right, and from here, this is a little different than your regular invoices. You have to se select your frequency, all right? And the options here are weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, and yearly, that's it. Right now, there is no option to customize the cycle itself. You can change when it ends, right? 3612 unlimited custom, all right? So in theory, you know, you could set up, a workaround is you could set up multiple uh, invoices to kind of fit the time frame that you want. Not ideal, but it's a, it's a workaround. So let's just go with annually, unlimited. I want to get paid every year. Next. And from here, it'll look pretty close or almost identical to your regular invoicing. The difference here being payment type, cycle, and how many occurrences. So don't worry about that logo. That'll clean up. You choose a customer. I've got a test account. We're going to say test invoice. We're going to say just whatever it's got in there. It's this mobile site optimization. And here it's just like any other invoices. Choose your due date. Issue date is when you send it. There's no option right now to schedule a delivery, schedule an invoice to go out. You can edit the customer info from here, you know, if you want to. Name, email, phone, everything else. And you can edit pricing. Take note of this new discount option that Wix has added, very helpful for invoices. Let's say you've told the client you've sold them on a 10% discount. There you go, just bake that in right there. Terms and conditions, really, really important for reoccurring invoices. Uh, if somebody disputes a reoccurring invoice, and it will happen if you're in business long enough, the terms that are inside of your invoice or that they must agree to by paying, paying the invoice, that will define whether or not you have a case and whether or not they're gonna win the chargeback along with many other variables, but it starts there. If you have no terms and conditions and they haven't agreed to anything in writing, you're gonna lose, they're gonna win, bottom line. I'm not an attorney, that's not legal advice. Okay, let's keep going. So uh, from this point on, you would simply send the invoice just like you normally would. All right, you could preview it again. See the logo cleans up there. Looks just like a regular invoice here. The actual invoice, when you send it, it'll bring up a little dialog box here. And you can see that it's part of a recurring payment. You can change messaging in here. So what's important to note here is you have a limited number of these recurring invoices that you can set up inside of Wix. I believe it's five as of the time of this video. So you can send five unique recurring invoices. They can go every week, every month, but they're going to the same person for the same amount. And you can set up up to five of those. Uh, you know, I get a lot of questions and, and feedback from, from clients that they're unhappy with uh, these add-ons and, and these extra costs that kind of come into play. So for example, to send more recurring invoices, you have to upgrade your Ascend plan, which I think starts at about $10 a month. Uh, this is the reality of working with 
with a platform like Wix or Squarespace or any others. Uh, Wix is a public company. They are ridiculously affordable in terms of the features that you're getting for what you're paying. To, to do what you have here inside of Wix, this isn't a commercial for Wix, I don't work for them, but you would pay exponentially more per month to get all these features on almost any other platform and certainly any any non-hosted platform like a Wix or Squarespace. So it's just the reality of, of working with Wix. As your business grows, your costs are going to grow as well. That's the reality of business. All right. So you send it. It's off. It's out there. Uh, let's talk about some limitations and other important notes. And by the way, I've had uh, I've spoken to the, the Wix team in charge of invoicing. They're aware of these. They're, they they want to improve the the, the system, they have improved the system. So I would encourage you to find the feature requests out there in the web. Uh, just Google and uh, Wix feature request and then whatever it is and vote for it. They do listen to those votes and they do implement feature requests. All right, so right now uh, it is not possible for your clients and customers to pay manually. The payment type is automatic. The invoice will go out and they will get charged every week, every month, whatever the time frame is. All right, it's, that is a feature request that's out there now, manual payments. All right, you can't schedule a send date. We talked about that. Um, you cannot uh, create multiple recipients. So whoever's on this customer account, that's that's who's gonna get it. Let me see, actually, have they added you know, one email? So can't send to more than one recipient right now. Um, a couple big ones here. You can't edit the... If, three big ones actually. You cannot edit the invoice after you create it. Once you create the invoice, that's it. You can't add anything, can't remove anything, you can't change pricing. You have to cancel the invoice and set up a new one if you want to change anything. Um, second big thing here is no receipts will be sent to the client. They're not going to get an email with a receipt of their payment. This is a big deal. But you can set up an automation to send the receipt of payment. It's a workaround and if you're already using automations, you may have to pay for, for that through upgraded to send, but at least there's a workaround. And then a really, really big one, save the best slash worst for last. If their payment fails, if their card you know, expired, if they had some fraud on it, if they close it, whatever, if the payment fails, the invoice will cancel, period. No more invoice, nobody gets notifications, everything just stops. It's a big one. The Wix team is aware of this. There's a lot of technical considerations behind it um, and security considerations, but um, that's a really big one. You definitely want to be checking your recurring invoices every so often. So we'll stop there. Any questions, as always, reach out to us here at BizLadder.